It's the only disease I don't have yet. Not all the others. Uh, it's a little known fact that out at sea, most of us pirates don't get a lot of pussy. Apart from the ship's cat. The occasional pirate. <laughs> and of course, the cabin boy. When we can catch him. Bastard. Yes, we have to make do with what we can find. Preferably something with a perky behind. <laughs> like you, young fella. Yes. Uh, preferably something with a perky behind. Oh, yes. But better than boys and parrots and cats are what lurks deep down, deep in the bowels of the ship. Me giant bilge rats. <laughs> oh, and they grow very large indeed. In fact, they make a most handsome steed. Eh, but I prefer the dead ones. They're easier. <laughs> oh, I even have me own exclusive dead rat. And I keep her, I keep her hidden in the pickled cabbage vat. <laughs> on the end of a rope. And when me crew are all busy, all distracted with a chore that's tricky, I pull up me rat and give her a quickie. Woo! Ha-ha! Woo! Woo! Ha-ha! Woo! Woo! I'm carrying say. I even have a name for me rat. I christened her. Yes, as soon as I saw her, I gave her the perfect name for any rat. I christened her Nora. Arr, Nora, me darling. Me loins tremble at the sound of your name. Oh, hey, what comes after that? Tremble, oh yes. Eh, but sometimes, if I forget to stick the cock back in her ass, Nora swells up with buoyant cabbage gas. Now, if I then stick the cock in real soon, Nora doubles as a reconnaissance balloon. When me, or when me enemies spy her, it makes them all swoon. <laughs> all I have to do is grab onto the rope and oop I go. And I pray to me God that the cock don't blow. Because if her cock pops out, There'll be a ghastly, rancid surprise, and I'll be...